Hey guys, today on Rich With Cars, I want to talk to you about how my experience has been with the Genesis GV80 over the past 18 months of ownership. I want to give some people basically a an idea of the ownership experience if they're considering getting into a Genesis GV80. My particular model over here that I got is a Prestige Edition with a 3.5 twin turbo engine. So it's basically the fully loaded one. And I wanted to give you guys basically an idea whether or not this should be a, your next vehicle or SUV for your family. So strap in, let's take a look. So when I first decided to go for this Genesis GV80, it was the first year that Genesis actually came out with their first ever SUV, it was a 2021. I was kind of scared because I was coming in from a Lexus RX350 with a luxury package and I was super, super happy with it. Why did I decide to come out of it was for you know personal reasons and I wanted to actually try out something new as well. So uh, seeing the design of the GV80 when it first came out and they first unveiled it, I was really, really enthralled with it and I said, let's try to give this a shot instead of your typical Germans. And I, in my opinion so far, ownership experience has been nothing short of phenomenal, frankly speaking, because for a couple of reasons, one of them being is the fact that you have a five year, 60,000 mile warranty, which is the best in its class. And at the end of the day, Genesis has also been known pretty well for reliability. So given the fact that you have all these things working with it, you know, I said, let's give it a try and it might actually uh, work out pretty well. So let's get you guys into a couple of issues that I've dealt with. And then I'll talk to you guys a little bit about the running costs or the maintenance costs, which to be honest, not much. So let's take a look. So the first issue I actually have been dealing with and I'm still dealing with it because I'm still in discussions with the dealership and you know we're trying to basically get to the bottom of it because they think that it's still so sort of uh, exterior related instead of actually being interior related. But it's actually the front camera module over here. I don't really have much of an issue with it except for the fact that sometimes when it rains hard or if I go through a car wash or I wash it myself, a little bit of humidity and condensation I would even say water gets trapped inside the actual camera itself. I'll show you guys some images and maybe some video of what I've been experiencing. So this is when it's clean. There is nothing over there in the middle. Nothing in the middle over there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a, there's like a huge thing right there in the middle. And you can barely see anything. See how the rear camera is? It's all clear. And then the front one, which I've cleaned multiple times, has the little spot right in the middle. Now the dealership is working with me. They're not denying it, but you know, the last question that I got was the fact that maybe it's uh, water on the outside of the camera, but clearly it's not because when you look at the front camera of the infotainment screen, you can clearly see that there is a you know, there's a dot of water that's inside the actual camera. So aside from that, I mean, that's that was basically the issue. Of course, over time, when I do get that and it doesn't happen all the time, it does dry up and it goes away. Let's say after about four to seven days of having it there. So not much of a massive issue. It just makes the front camera a little bit less usable. So that was basically the first little issue that I have gone through. So the second issue I've been dealing with, and there's no real solution in the way, because I did mention it to uh, my dealership and they basically told me that it's just an ultra sensitive proximity sensor. And it's the fact that when I'm actually driving and stopped, let's say at a red light, I do get the proximity sensor, which is basically this setting right there actually going off so what ends up happening is let's say for example you know i'm right now i can't show you but it's basically i'm stopped at a red light and then my proximity sensor starts showing up on the infotainment screen and it's not like i'm close by to anything what i've been told is the fact that 
Uh, some other manufacturers have a very, very sensitive or powerful, I guess you could say, like sonar system, if anything, that emits like the signal and interferes with the parking sensors of this vehicle. So what ends up happening is, even though you might not be very close to the vehicle, then it just basically sets it off. And the brands or the manufacturers actually, actually have this, I guess you could say, more powerful sensors that make this this car sensors go off are Ford vehicles and BMW vehicles. And that is true. I've actually tested it out. I read it about it on the forums and it actually is true. The majority of the time, I would probably say about 90, 95% of the time that it does happen when I'm in traffic is when I'm actually beside either next to or behind a either BMW or a Ford vehicle. In terms of maintenance, how has this car been so far? In the past 18 months that I've had it, it's been just incredible. Haven't paid a single penny in terms of maintenance costs uh, just because Genesis does actually provide a three year, 36,000 mile worry-free maintenance. So they cover all the maintenance costs, which includes basically like the oil changes, air filter changes, engine filter changes. So it's been great, except for one thing, in terms of like the running costs, I had a minor issue that I don't know if it was sort of like a defect from the manufacturer, but I ended up having to pay for it myself because they said it wasn't a defect. They saw that there was a chip on my sunroof. I'll show you guys a picture. I had a sunroof uh, crack basically, which has never happened to me before. I've read in the forums that some Genesis models actually have a defective sunroof and it ends up cracking. But in my case, when I brought it to the dealership, they basically told me that there was a visible point of contact where it chipped the sunroof itself. So they decided not to cover it because they said that it was a, sort of like a rock chip that probably happened on the highway. So once again, I'll show you guys a picture of the crack. So I ended up having to cover uh, for that cost itself. And that was a little expensive because of course my insurance wasn't gonna cover it. It's not like a windshield, it's a sunroof. So between labor and the part itself, it ended up being about $1,300, which I would say is not common issue, but at the end of the day, I didn't wanna keep it cracked. So I basically just covered the, the cost myself, but you know, that's sort of like a really a one-off type of situation. But aside from that, everything else has been sort of a breeze because everything is covered under the Genesis warranty service. So in terms of maintenance, it's been great. I haven't had any issues. And aside from the issues that I mentioned before, this this vehicle has been great so far. So hopefully this has been uh, quite informative for you guys. And I hope that, you know, if you guys are considering uh, any type of Genesis vehicle, especially the GV80 over here, it'll make you actually want to get into one because at the end of the day, it's been sort of a, a great experience for me thus far being especially a Lexus fanatic and coming from Lexus Genesis is really bringing up their game so like always guys uh, thanks a lot for your support uh, I'm at 1000 once again thank you so so much for you know your support and uh, for your views I'm gonna keep on trying to make as many videos as possible I'll try to increase the quantity or the frequency but it all depends on the amount of time that I have once again, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment below, share with anybody that you think might actually find this useful. And as always, stick around for the next one. And uh, once again, thank you very much for everything, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.